सो ही गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू एंड कूल वीएफएक्स सीजीआई एनिमेशन विदाउट यूजिंग एनी थर्ड पार्टी ऐड ऑन सी गाइस दैट्स माय रियली कूल इफेक्ट गाइस आई एम यूजिंग आफ्टर इफेक्ट फॉर ट्रैकिंग ओके सो सी गाइस फर्स्टली दैट्स माय फ्रूट्स एंड सेकंड वन गाइस इट्स माय जूस कैन मॉडल एंड थर्ड वन डायनेमिक एनिमेशन Okay, so guys, now I will teach you how to create this type of effect. Guys, it's really beautiful and best for beginners. So stop and go to on file and I create new project. So guys, select all and press delete key. So guys, now go to on After Effect. So go to on back and preview. See guys, that's my simple motion tracking, right? Guys, you can download this clip link in description and second one, you can download all project file from my website. It's free. Okay, so guys, same. Go to on here track and select top four position and copy and see guys that's my blend A to add on. So guys click and go to on here. So guys select position and orientation and go to on here create camera check. So press zero and guys increase frame starting from one second. Yeah. So guys go to on again after effect lastly. Double click on this camera and copy focal length. Yeah. So select this camera and guys focal length paste. Yes. So guys now go to on here and background image and movie clip. Guys import same movie clip. Select this one. That's my clip. Yeah. So guys opacity 100% check. And now guys go to on here frame rate. Use same frame rate 24 FPS and it's my 24 FPS. Yes. So guys, play. Okay, lastly, guys, I increase frame. So stop. So guys, select this frame and last like this, like a three, four, five. So frame three, four, five. Enter check. Yes, and play. Yes. Okay, see guys, that's my tracking data. And now, guys, I create some composition. So firstly, guys, I increase plane size like this. Yeah, more. And guys, little bit back. Yes. So guys, click on here. Wireframe. Okay. So now select this one. Edit mode. Select edge. Select this one and increase size. Move size like this. Yeah, more. Good. And guys, select this one and increase size. Yes. Good. Okay. So guys, now next one. Select this one. Vertex. This one. And change position like this because I create center. See, guys, that's my corner to corner position like this. Yeah, good. And guys, select this one and corner. Yeah, good. Right. Okay. So, guys, now next one. Select this one edge. This edge. So, guys, shortcut command is press E and G. Enter. So up. Yeah. See, guys, that's my shape, right? And guys, up like this. Yeah, good. Okay. So, guys, now press zero and guys, click on here. Okay. So wireframe check. So, guys, select this face and select this one and right click. Use this time inside face check. So, guys, create shape like this and smaller. Press zero. And go to down. Yeah. Good. See guys, that's my simple boxy effect. Right. Okay. So now guys select this one and little bit increase scale size. Little bit. Yeah. Good. Okay. So guys select this one face and smaller. Yeah. Good. Okay. See guys, that's my shape. Right. Okay. So guys next one press zero and Guys, I create extrude. So press E and go to down like this. Yeah. So guys, little bit more. Yes. Okay. So now next one. So guys, select this one shape and guys go to on here this shape and select this one and right click. Guys, use separate at separate selection check. Yes. So next one, guys, I apply material. So guys, select this inner face. This one cube and go to on here, create new material. So, guys, base color like a blue 0 
and 0 0.8 and burn roughness little bit down 0 0.3 yes okay so guys now next one select this one that's my outer so guys i use this time this one okay so guys i change render setting cycle render divide gpu check and sam 256 256 so go to one film and transparent check so color management i like standard yeah again go to on here and this time guys visibility and shadow catcher check yes see guys that's my whole shape not cube so shadow catcher check okay so now next one guys i create boolean effect so use this time cube and press 7 wireframe check so press 7 and go to on here and increase scale size yeah and little bit rotate so guys click on here and rotate like this yes yeah good okay so guys now up like this and guys little bit back yeah see that's my simple work and next one guys select this one that's my separate selection so use boolean so boolean check and guys see that's my object so use cube yes that's it so guys click on here so now and apply so guys you can delete this cube see guys that's my shape right and next one i create extrude so wireframe here wireframe check and same edit mode select this vertex this one holding shift key and same press e and g so up like this yeah good and guys now next one go to on here so guys i increase scale size scale size is good see guys that's my scale size yes great okay see guys that's my simple shape and now next one guys i apply some objects guys i already download some fruits model so i use blender kit add-on so guys type like a apple apple see guys that's my different different style of models guys you can download any model like this it's free that's my models right okay so now guys i already download some models so go to an up and yeah see guys that's my fruits and scale size little bit change and i apply on here so up and go to on here and rotate rotate 90 degree yes so guys 90 yeah good see guys that's my some fruits model so guys i show you my texture so click on here yeah and wireframe uncheck yes see guys that's my fruits right okay so now next one okay so guys see that's my connect to null object and right click unlink unlink and unlink yes good see guys that's my fruits and now next one so guys i apply this time rigid body tag so guys select this first one first apple and go to on here rigid body and active so guys shape i like convex health check yes so guys see that's my friction friction zero and bounce 0 0.5 yeah so guys select this one shape that's my shape so guys origin to geometry check and apply same and this time passive so guys shape i like mesh and friction i like zero and bound 0 0.5 yeah so now next one select this flow so rigid body check and passive so shape mesh and friction 0 0.5 okay so now next one guys play okay so guys select this first apple and select all and i apply rigid body copy from active check and again so play yes great see guys that's my simple shape right see that's my work right and again play yes it's looking good okay so guys now i apply more object so guys press one and so guys select this one shape and little bit down and go to on here and shift d shift d enter copy 
So apply on here and again shift D like this. Yes, good. And guys, little bit spacing. So press three and guys again copy. So same shift D, enter, apply on here and last time shift D and go to on here. Yes. Right. See guys, that's my shape. And lastly, shift press actually three is good and select all fruits. So select object and again shift D, enter. So go to on up like this. Yes. See guys, that's my fruits. Right. And next one guys. So go to on here. Rigid body and rigid body check. So guys go to on catch it and guys frame I like three four five enter and bake all dynamic check. See guys that's my baking guys take a little bit time for baking. Okay so guys my baking is finished and press zero and play. Okay see guys that's my beautiful dynamic animation. Right it's looking really beautiful. See guys that's my first effect. First, rigid body animation and next one guys, I apply juice model. So stop and delete bake check. So go to on file and guys, I create new collection. Select this one collection, file, append, that's my juice model. Select this one and append, yeah. See guys, that's my juice model and little bit increase size, little bit, yeah, good. Okay, see guys, that's my model. And guys, now I create animation. So like uh, I take, so guys, I go to like a 150 frame, 150 frame, select this box model and press I. See guys, that's my all selection. And now guys, go to like a 100 frames and position up like this. Yeah, press I, yeah. That's my simple animation, right? So go to one back. And lastly, guys, I create rotation animation like this. So, guys, uncheck camera. See, guys, that's my rotation animation. So, press 0. And, guys, starting from 1 second and check. So, go to last, like a last frame and 720 and check. Yes, that's it, guys. So, again, go to back and play. Okay, so, guys, now I little bit change rotation effect. So, it's not working on 0 to 100 frames. So, guys, go to our back and guys, uncheck all. Yeah. So, guys, select only Z1, check. So, this one and uncheck all. Yeah. And this one and uncheck all. Yes. Right. Okay. So, guys, go to our back and again play. Yes. See, guys, that's my rotation effect. So, guys, press 0. And again, guys, stop. Go to our back. So, guys, next one. I apply this time force field effect. So again, new collection and go to on here, add and guys force field check. So guys like a 150 frames and force field go to on up like this. Yes. And guys now I change strength. So guys strength zero. So 150 frame and strength check strength minus 300 randomly and guys go to like a hundred. So strength I like zero and check. Yeah. Go to one back. See guys, that's my strength. 100 frames. It's take zero. I show you. See guys, that's my strength. 100 frames, zero. And go to like a 150 frame and strength minus 300. Yes. So guys, now I apply a rigid body tag on this box. So select this box and rigid body and passive. So guys, it's my animate object. So animate check. So shape. So shape I like mesh and friction friction like a 0 0.25 yeah good and guys more like a 0 0.4 0 0.4 is good and again so guys I create baking so go to one again here and bake all dynamic check okay so guys my final baking is finished and again play yeah, that's my first effect. And after 150 frame, it's beautiful dynamic animation. Right? See, guys, that's my really cool effect. So, guys, stop. And now I show you my render preview. So, guys, this time I apply SDRI image. 
So guys, I have HDRI image like this. Yeah. And next one, guys, I apply second light. So use this time sunlight and light check and up. So guys, rotate little bit. Rotate like this. Yes. So now guys, I change angle like a 20 and strength one is good. So next one and I apply only one frame render. So render image check. Okay, so guys, my render is finished. And lastly, close. Go to compositing and use node check. So press shift A and I apply alpha over correct to mid one. And guys, movie clip and apply same movie clip. So like this and guys connect to first one. So lastly, shift A and use viewer. So connect to viewer, alpha over connect to viewer. Yes. See guys, that's a beautiful composition, right? It's good. So guys, lastly and output guys, I create render. So create new folder, new folder, take check and take any file name, except check. Yes. So guys go to one back and render and render animation check. Okay, so guys, that's it. My final work is finished. So guys, if you like my video, please share and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.